Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Welcome to another Divi tutorial. Now this one is about the Divi menu module. We already have like 30 different tutorials specifically about the menu module. Um, so this is another one and this one we are going to move the logo from being above the navigation in a centered position to on the side. Um, left aligned when you scroll. So when you scroll up and down, the logo is going to move from left to center, center to left, right, like that. Let me show you what I mean here. I actually don't have the demo done yet, but I'll show you the GIF here on our tutorial. You can see it moving there, going down and up. It's just a quick little GIF that I made. So we're going to be making that in this tutorial. All right, so let's let's get started here. So of course, if you're on YouTube, then you know make sure you're following along on the blog post here as well. All right, so obviously the first step, get your menu module added. And here's the thing, you probably already have it in a theme builder template, and that would be the ideal place to do this in a theme builder template. And you would wanna make like, you probably wanna have the header like as a section, the menu in a section, and then that section would become sticky as you scroll. That would definitely be the most like i don't know the normal use case for this right um, i'm going to be showing you right here on this page i guess i won't actually be showing you um in a in a theme builder template but that's optional it it kind of makes sense you know you could set it to uh fixed or sticky in fact i have some instructions here um showing you how to do that and i'll just show you that real quick so if you were in your template um go to your section like, well, okay. So if I had the menu here and in this section, I could go to the advanced tab. You had two options. You could um, set the position, always be absolute. That would always keep it at the top. Or you could down here to scroll effects and set the sticky position to like um, stick to top. Okay. That would probably be what you'd want to do in a theme builder template. All right, so now for the actual menu. We have it added to our demo here, so you want to have it added. And just something to point out, make sure you're adding a logo image, obviously. <laughs> um, that's what we're talking about, moving the logo. Um, you could choose to add the image. I always, I always use the dynamic um, content feature right there, and then click Site Logo. And that's going to pull in the logo that you set in Theme Options. So here it is. Now this is how it's looking by default, but that's not really what we want. I want to create the layout where it's on top. So go to the design tab, layout toggle, see that? And then choose centered. And you can see that my logo now is on top like that. All right, so we want it to, we want it to move from this position, which is layout centered to um, left aligned when we scroll. So what we're going to do is actually, see, in Divi, each of these options, if I would set that, it would add a custom class there inside the module. Or if I set this, it's a custom class. So what we're just doing is we're, we're targeting those classes that already are generated based on your layout, and we're switching them with uh, jQuery. So like right here, there's a class that puts the logo on top. So we're just saying, hey, when you scroll, take that class and actually replace it with the one where it's on the left. And then when you scroll back up, switch it back. That's what we're doing. We're just taking, we're just using jQuery and switching the class for you. Let's get to that. Um, so, okay, we added the logo, set the layout centered, of course. Oh, and then we're using a custom class. So the reason we're doing that, we don't, you know, it, it matches our code for one thing, but we don't want it to affect, you know, every m menu module on the site. We're, we want it to affect this specific one. So we're taking that class, PA menu logo position. And just make sure that you add that. So go to the module advanced tab, CSS ID and classes and paste that there. So make sure it looks exactly like that. Save that. All right, so now moving on to the jQuery. So here I have some instructions on where you can add that. You have a couple options, whether you're adding it to just that page or to the whole site. The most 
probable place that you would add this is in your theme options. And I'll, I'll actually use that method. So here's the snippet that we want. So go ahead and copy it. You can use this button, click the copy. Then I'll go to my back end of the website, go to Divi theme options. And then inside there, look for integration. And then right here, you can just go ahead and add it right there like that. All right. So you, and you can even take kind of take a quick look at it like, okay, so we're saying we're targeting this class that we added to the module. You can even see the classes here, ETPD menu, style centered, and then style left. So we're removing the class and adding a class, right? So it's kind of, when you really break it down, you know, code is logic. So um, when we scroll, if we scroll, um, and then this value 80, that's the distance that we scroll. If you scroll that, then we're removing the center class and replacing it with the left class. Pretty cool. Or if you scroll back up, we're um, adding the center class back in and um, removing the left class. And then um, we're also you, we're also adding and removing another class, uh, PA on scroll. That way we can just add a little extra CSS. All right, hope that makes sense. So here we go. We've, we've added this, so save changes. In fact, here I have uh, a little bit of an explanation of what it's doing written. Um, as far as the on scroll, we're adding that so that when the scroll happens, then this code right here, the CSS, can then apply. So uh, we're basically saying, or we need some helper CSS, we're going to put it that way, um, to go along with the jQuery. So that's what this is. Um, and then we can, we can copy that. All right, so it's just this little bit here. And you would want to put that, you know, you could put that back here, theme options right here. All right, you put it right here in your theme options. Save that. Now we need to, you know, we're actually, we're still in the builder. So we're going to exit the builder here, save all changes with that. And then we should see this take effect because we've added the jQuery and the CSS now. And there you can see it starts out. Now, of course, you know, for you, it's kind of tricky because I have it like down on the page, but if you had it at the top, you know, especially in your theme builder template, it would look like that. If someone comes to the page, it looks great. Nice logo there on top. And when you scroll down, it kind of saves space, you know, moving it to the left like that, it saves the space. And yeah, when you scroll back up, like if now it would be back at the top. So, that's it. What do you guys think? Is that pretty cool or what? Um, I think it is. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. And like I said, we've, we probably have, I think it's over 30 tutorials specifically related to the menu. And then of course, hundreds of other ones related to Divi. Um, so yeah, if you're not subscribed yet, you know, kind of, what are you waiting for? Why not? Um, because this is what we do every single week. So yeah, I really hope you guys like it. Let me know if you do, and we'll see you all in the next video.